Emergency declared in San Diego as wettest January day on record brings widespread flooding. Winter storms for relatively dry San Diego are hit or miss, but mostly miss. So the wallop of a Pacific front Monday stunned California's second largest city, even as it was expecting rain. It was the third of three Pacific storms to strike the West Coast since Friday, with the first bypassing the region and the second producing only about one-third of an inch of relatively warm rain. A city that walked it off was then punished by the third storm, which had been forecast to be stronger. It was the wettest January day on record in San Diego, the National Weather Service said. Tijuana and other parts of northern Beja, California, were hit hard. At least eight migrants were rescued by you. S. Customs and Border Protection Agents and San Diego Fire Department rescuers, when they were endangered by the floodwaters of the Tijuana River Valley on the U. S. Side, authorities said. Residents in the South Crest neighborhood, just southeast of downtown, had to be rescued by firefighters as standing water quickly surrounded their apartment complex, according to authorities and coverage from NBC San Diego. No injuries were reported. Navy Base San Diego south of downtown, reported flooding in the late morning as a thick cell of precipitation moved over the area and put multiple streets in Interstate 15, which leads to Las Vegas, under enough water that they were effectively shuttered. Navy officials said personnel on base should shelter in place as they tried to move incoming and outgoing traffic to areas of the base that weren't temporarily united with adjacent San Diego Bay. Mayor Todd Gloria declared a state of emergency due to extreme rainfall and flash flooding, ESAID. He urged residents and visitors to stay off roads Monday. Schools in adjacent La Mesa and Spring Valley declared classrooms would be closed Tuesday.